Hello team, my name is Monique and it is time for my December haul, which will be my last haul in a while. In case you didn't know, this is Book Witch Reviews, my channel, and this is my December haul. In case you didn't know, I have mentioned it in several of my vlogs. I will be going into a book buying ban for at least the first three months of this year. And we're going to see how I've done with getting into my TBR, my physical TBR, which has gotten a little bit overwhelming this year. I never used to have as many physical unread books as I do now because obviously I'm more of a hauler because I finally got a house that I could haul into and then also because I'm obviously part of the book community and as much as I don't want to be a materialistic person I am because it is the only thing that like I really want to spend my money on and because I have the money I like to spend it so if you are here to judge me on my materialistic ways, then uh, this video is not for you. If you are here to enjoy a book haul, then you're welcome. Here we go. I have split this haul up into three. There is first the books that I have bought for my own money. Then there are books that I have been sent by publishers. The majority of these are e-arcs from NetGalley. And then we have the gifts that have been bought for me over Christmas. This includes gifts from my girlfriend, one of my friends, and then the gift certificate that I got from my job that I have spent on books because that's what I do. So let's just get straight into it. First up we had two books that were included in my Illumicrate box. In case you didn't know, Illumicrate is a book subscription box that I get monthly most of the time. The December theme this year was A Legacy to Protect. And then we got two books. The first one is The Ravens by Cass Morgan and Daniel Page, which is a sort of sorority regarding witches. We are following two different characters, one who knows she is a witch and wants to be the next president of the sorority and one who does not know she is a witch, but who believes that if she can just get into this sorority, then everything will work out for her. They both have some secrets they don't want the other one to know about. There are blood oaths and magic, and I'm very excited about reading this one. The next one is The Cousins by Karen M. McManus, which I believe is more like a contemporary thrillery sort of thing. I believe we are following three different cousins who don't really know each other and don't really know their maternal grandmother who has sort of cut off their side of the family. They get sent back by their parents in the hope that they can like, reconnect with this very rich grandmother, but they find that their family might not be exactly what they say they are. And yeah, it's an exciting one. It has nice black edges and I enjoyed getting two books for one price. The next book that I bought myself was A The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winters, which is an adult high fantasy. In it we follow Tao, I believe his name is, who is a soldier sort of in this fantasy world where everything is on the brink of war all the time and all he wants is to just settle down, have a farm and sort of be calm. But by the time that he can do that, um, I believe he has been betrayed by some people and because his entire family is now dead, he sets out to become the best swordsman ever. I believe it's quite hard. I believe it's quite an intense war fantasy. But I'm very excited about reading it because it has been on my radar for quite a while. And then I also pre-ordered this stunner. This is When the Tiger Came Down the Mountain by Niwo, which is a short story. It's the second book in the Singing Hills series, which is like little short stories where we follow Chi, who's a gender non-binary historian in this, um, I believe Vietnamese or East Asian inspired fantasy world. They travel around sort of taking down stories. And in this one, they have to sort of entertain some tigers who are out to eat them and their companions. This was so good. I loved it so much. I've already read it. The little series, the first book, The Empress of Salt and Fortune, which I will speak about in a moment, is also absolutely wonderful. The next pick of this book haul is mainly e-arcs from NetGalley and a single proof, but let's just get straight into them. I am so excited about all of these releases and super excited about getting to read them. I have quite a few for January, so we don't know if we'll get to them before they actually come out, but that's what I'm hoping for. But the first one is one of my most anticipated releases. I've literally, from the second that it was announced, I've been like, I must read it right now. And it is The Unbroken by C.L. Clark, which comes out on the 20th third of March. This is a book that follows dual perspectives. I believe that we are following a soldier who believes that she has nothing more to do or any more loyalty to her country. And then we have an heiress who is trying to sort of push her uncle off the throne and so she needs a turncoat. And in comes our soldier who sort of may beginning to have some feelings they're working together to sort of a rebellion stage i believe and it just it sounds so wonderful this cover is just 
thank you jesus also i believe that it is a queer we may have some female female romance in here and i'm just i'm just very stoked about it. next arc that i was sent is refree the stars by hafsa faisal which is one of my most anticipated releases of this year we all thought we might get the sequel to we haunt the flame last year and then it got pushed so not till this year but this is the ending of the duology of the sons of iowa which is how what i believe the series is called in it we follow nasir who is an assassin and safira who is a huntress and they are sort of trying to break this curse of this forest that is slowly taking over their land the land is cursed and it's just one of the most stunning YA fantasies I have read in a long time it is inspired by ancient Arabia and I just love it and I cannot wait to read the sequel I feel like I need to reread the first book so my TBI is getting slightly out of control the next book that Ned Gelly gave me allowance to read is The Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick which comes out on the 21st of January this is a sort of I believe a twisted circus caravel sort of thing we have a city of dreams and in it we have a con artist called Renata who is trying to sort of steal her way into the nobility to save the life of her sister and herself but she finds out that there may be some corrupt magic going on so, so she has to team up with a vigilante and a crime lord to sort of save their city and it just sounds so good and this cover is just so stunning I'm really hoping that it'll be really good. I've had my sort of share of sort of circusy weird books for a while now none of them were really speaking to me so I'm very very excited about this one. Next up is another much anticipated release and it is Winter's Orbit by Everina Maxwell which comes out on the 2nd of February. This was just literally I saw it and I was like I adore this cover and then I heard that it also had a arranged marriage trope and a sort of marriage of convenience and I was like sold basically we are following a prince who loses i believe either his fiance or his actual wife slash husband to an assassination attempt and then to keep the unrest of this empire he then has to marry their cousin and i am just excited apparently things are going wrong rebellion is brewing and this sci-fi empire is basically on the shoulders of two people who misunderstand each other but may also have some feelings for each other and i am very excited it's meant to be a queer romance with some nice drama and i am here for it next up we have an arc that i literally died about when i found out that i had it and it is winter keep by kristen cashel which is the fourth book in the graceling series i never even thought we would get a fourth book i never thought we would get more in this universe and i died when i heard that it was coming out and then i died again when i got an arc of it this book follows some of the characters of the original companion books. The Gracing series is a modern underappreciated fantasy series that I absolutely adore. Each book follows a different character. However, it has like sneaks of the other books and this book is no different. Apparently a new country has been discovered and Bitter Blue, who is one of the main characters of the former book, sets out to sort of figure out why it seems like there might be something wrong with Winter Geek. And I am so excited about reading this. Fire is one of my favourite books of all time. And literally, I just want to power read the entire series and then read this one. And then we have the last e-arc that I have, which is The Galaxy and the Ground Within by Becky Chambers, which is the fourth book in the Wayfarer series. The Wayfarer series is a sci-fi series that follows the, a lot of tropes such as found family. We always have different characters that sort of have to learn to work together and this book is no different apparently it follows this weird little planet that doesn't really have a lot other than being an almost intergalactic truck stop and apparently an electrical short circuit something happens and no one can leave this little planet and so we have three characters that are strangers that may all of a sudden have to work together and i am just the Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, which is the first book in the Wayfarer series, is just so incredibly good. And I just, I want to reread all of them. It's a really big problem with all of these arcs is that most of them are series. And I feel like I want to reread before I read it. And I just, I can't, but I want to so badly. My last arc was sent directly from Penguin Random House and Del Rey, which is an imprint. And it's Malice by Heather Walter coming out on the 13th of April and I am 
dying for this. This is an unrequested proof, which means that they sent it to me and I cannot thank them enough for it. This is a queer retelling of Sleeping Beauty, seen from the perspective of the evil fairy who cursed this like princess. And basically she may be falling in love with the princess because she believes that she is a fair ruler and she should be ruling, but no one else in this country apparently really cares about the princess except for our evil fairy. And I am so, so very excited about reading this book. It's an absolute a chonker, but it's also stunning. We got a villain and we got queer romance. Literally, just give me all of them, all of the queer retellings of fairy tales. That's what I want. And then last but not least, we have a small stack of Christmas presents here. This is my last bit of this, I'm guessing, surprisingly long haul that we are now watching. But let's just get through them. I won't go into too many specifics, but I am very excited about each and every one of these books. So the first one is a gift from my friend Jack. And it is Witches Steeped in Gold by Sianan Smart, which does not come out yet. It comes out later in the year. I'm going to leave the actual date here below. It is a fantasy inspired by Jamaica and I believe that we are following two different witches in warring fractions of this like empire and basically they are both trying to save their country and their people but they may have to work together to do it even though they are not excited about doing so. I love this arc. I don't know how my friend Jack got them to send him an extra one. Oh it's coming out on the 20th of April. I'm just really bad but he somehow got this for me because he is wonderful and amazing and I cannot wait to read this one. Will I say that about each and every one of these books? Absolutely. The next couple of books are gifts from my dear girlfriend because she loves me and I love her. The first one is an omnibus which means a bind up of the first three books in his dark materials by philip pullman which is one of my most beloved series of all time this is a magical realism sort of second universe story following lyra who lives in an alternative oxford to our own where you have these personified animal companions called daemons and she sets out to right a wrong to find a friend who has been lost and it is just a series that i love more than anything in the world other than tamara pierce and I really, really wanted this edition. It is absolutely stunning. And I just, I love it a lot. She also got me a copy of The Wren Hunt by Mary Watson, which is a magical realism book that follows Wren, who is an Agua, which is a sort of a druid sort of witch. And she sets out trying to figure out why her people are dying, but the judges are not. And the judges are sort of their rival sort of witch, druid people and... Each of them are basically trying to eradicate the other. It is a very weird, very softly magical sort of book, but the writing is absolutely stunning. And it is one that I love with my whole heart and wish more people picked up. Next up, she also got me a copy of uh, Jordan Ifuki's A Ray Bearer, which I'm very excited about reading. This is a book that follows a young girl who has grown up in isolation with her mother, whom she calls the lady. And one day she gets this order to go infiltrate the prince's inner circle and make a bond with him just so she de can just so sad. Well, just so that she can kill him. However, this is not what she wants. She wants a family, she wants friends, and she wants to connect with other people. I have heard there is some amazingly LGBT, it's amazingly, I really can't talk. There is some amazing LGBT um, rep in here, and I am just like, there's so many people who absolutely love it, even people who don't really love fantasy as much as I do, so I'm so excited about this one. And then the last gift from my girlfriend is this one. This is Hag. Forgotten Folk Tales Retold. This is a series of short stories written by Irish and British female authors. I believe that it is a sort of retellings of old uh, mythology of like Britain, which I'm very excited about reading more about as I don't know that much about British folklore. And I'm just so excited about this one. It sounds so good. And I am really hoping to read more short story anthologies this year. Next, we got the little stack of books that I bought for myself with a gift card that I got from my job. So this is Empire of Ivory by Naomi Novik, which is the fourth book in the Tamer series, which is a historical fantasy following a naval officer who sort of becomes an reluctant dragon rider. Next, we have The Empress of Salt and Fortune by Nhi Wo, which is the first book in the Singing Hill series. We got another short story, The Black God's Drum by, the, by P. Del G. Clark. 
I thought this was a full-length novel. It has sky pirates, Haitian sky pirates, and wily street urchins, and I am excited about reading it so I can pick more up from this author. I am really sad that it's not a full-length novel, but in the same time I really desperately want to read this. Then I also finally got a copy of Ash Lords by Scott Reagan. This book follows a race where you have these phoenix horses, which is part alchemy and part, I think, natural, and basically we are following three different characters who are all desperately trying to win this race and I just I really 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 want to read it and I've been wanting to read it for a year and I just didn't get a copy and now I have. And second to last I got a copy of The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen which is a fantasy YA story about these different casts of like they're called different birds so the crows have like almost death magic it, their magic comes from teeth and they deal with the dead and so they're ostracized by by their community and then our main character is meant to go pick up the bodies of the phoenix prince and his bodyguard but they may not be dead and there may be some evil coming and i've just heard funny things margaret owen has an instagram and a twitter where she's talking about her new book and i'm like she sounds so funny and i really 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 want to support her so i picked this up and then last but not least in my little haul we have blood witch by susan dennard which is the third book in the witchlands series there's a fourth book coming out. I am really desperate to read it all. It is a YA fantasy where we follow two young witches from two di very different backgrounds but who have grown up together and formed this bond of sisterhood. Somehow now gotten each of these books but they are all in a different <laughs> edition so they don't fit together at all. At least they're all the same height but yeah they're all different editions so you know what that's just how it goes. But I'm very excited about picking up the rest of the series. And that, my friends, was my small December book haul. It was not small at all, so it's like 22 books in here. But most of them are either gifts or art, so I felt like I did really well. And then, yeah, now I will not be buying anything until, like, April. Is that the fourth month? I feel like that's the fourth month. We will see how I've done. I may extend this book buying band. However, I am still allowed to buy my monthly subscription box and I am allowed to buy a books if I do it for my TV Arts and Bowler game and actually get a bingo because those are in my rules. I know that this is quite a lot of books. This is one of the reasons why I'm going on to a ban. I am aware of my own sort of materialistic ways. However, this is my own money and I don't feel like you need to buy all these books to be a proper bookworm, to be a part of this book community and each person do what they want to. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button at the same time so you don't miss out on any other lovely videos from me. I speak about books and I upload regularly and then I hope you are taking care of yourself. Remember that I am proud of you, you're doing great and I will see you guys really soon with another video. Goodbye. You want to wear? My name is Monique. This is Book Reviews, my channel. Did I just say my name twice? Absolutely.